I've had the weirdest week. I'm helping like develop a game thing. So on Monday I went to a small business talk where I was all dressed up nice and fancy and trying to be the most business-like as I can. You've got to dress the part and then act the part and then become the part, which is hard uh, for me with the business side. With the archaeology it's fine because you just really get to be yourself and work hard and there's just no barriers you put up. But with business it was weird. I wasn't used to it at all. I also went to a lizard museum of, of a... Uh, uh, not a lizard museum. Kind of like a zoo, but for reptiles. A reptile centre. I went to a reptile centre with my two nieces and their mum, and we saw snakes. And we saw a saltwater crocodile that I was like totally ready to jump on if the glass just suddenly disappeared. I was gonna have to jump on it and hold its mouth shut so it wouldn't eat my babies, because it was eyeing them off, man. It was gonna go for my nieces, straight up. I was just working out how I could protect them in my mind. In my stressful, stressed mind, that's what I was doing while I was there. But that was a really neat experience. It's really cool. It's uh, very, very worthwhile going. And it only cost us $11 to get in, and we had such an amazing experience. I'm not very good at keeping up with my vlogging. Like, I'm like, oh, I'll definitely make videos out of that. And then when I'm there, I totally forget to do it. I'm going to... Just really quickly brush over the fact that I went on a writing camp when I was, I don't know, maybe 15, 16? Um, maybe a bit younger than that even, with uh, one of my favourite authors, John Marsden. Uh, this is a photo I took of him, it's up on my wall. I'm very proud to have gone to his uh, workshop for over a weekend and he just sort of workshopped with us on what to write and how to write and gave us personal feedback. and. Uh, yeah, just did activities with us to make us think more like a writer and it was really really helpful and if you ever get a chance to do anything like that please go and do it. It was for children, for youth and it was really good and I really enjoyed it and I would really like something like that for grown-ups now that I could go to again and see if I could get more out of it. I think I got more in retrospect than I did at the time actually being there. All the other photos I took of it um, were of just the people I met, so just the other teenagers there with me. Kind of social awkwardness kind of held me back, like I could have gotten more out of the whole situation had I been a little bit more grown up, I think. Anyway, it was really, really good and it was in the bush, in a camp, and it was just really cool, really good writing <laughs> experience for me and I look back on it very fondly, so I think uh, I have a lot to thank John Marsden for. And that underneath him, just there, is a wombat, a photo I took uh, when I was out bushwalking just last year, I think. Um, and here's a lion I drew, and a hummingbird I also drew. This is kind of like my little wall of inspiration. It's got like fancy quotes in a world map and lots of photographs that I've taken. The Sims, a leaf, this autumn leaf is so cool. When I got it, it was green and I put it up there to watch it slowly fade. Now, like it was really bright green when I started. I feel like vlogs give you so much more creative freedom in what, what you're talking about and, and stuff than my book reviews because even though I've got content for the book reviews so it's easier to put them up in some respects, uh, the vlog is sort of freeing, I just sort of ramble for hours and hours and then I have to edit like 45 minutes of myself talking just to get something across. So that's probably not the best way of doing it. But it's the funnest, I think, uh, and I'll get better at it as I go along. It's only the beginning. Only the beginning. So if anyone's got any questions about archaeology or John Marsden or anything at all, I'm more than happy to answer. Also, if you've got anything in particular you want me to vlog or talk about that I haven't really been doing, let me know. Like, I'm just kind of making up this content as I go along week to week, so if there's something that you're interested in and you're like, can you please talk about how you draw art for Span Made or uh, whatever, I can definitely talk to you about anything you like. Um, some topics might be like my anxiety disorders, my uh, art, my paintings, my drawings, my photography. I do a lot of things and I don't know what to talk about at any given time. And I will see you Friday for a book review. What book am I going to read next? Oh, I don't know. Probably, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't started anything. Uh, yeah, so I haven't started my next book yet, but I will have a review for that up on Friday and I will see you then.